I got you a little surprise. I think you're gonna like it. I saw Luke uh, playing ball down the street, so I know that we are all alone right now. Just the two of us, baby. Ooh. Man, that turkey smells fantastic. Hey. Isn't that sweet? Go ahead and pull it. <laughs> baby, go out back right now. <coughs> Honey, you just stay right there. Sit down! got everything to do with this. My wife, my kids, my life. You took them all from me. What do you want? What do I want? How about a cure for cancer? <laughs> I'm dying, detective. I want you to know what that feels like. What are you, a ninja? Keep moving towards me, detective. I'm begging you. Turn around right now and leave. No harm, no foul. Oh, really? No harm, no foul. <laughs> How about this for harmony? <laughs> Something about this place Like a warm embrace I found the road that leads me home I need some grace To find the way To bear my heart Oh, I'm good. Called your cell phone. Said it's disconnected. Right. How you holding up, partner? Living the dream. Any Thanksgiving plans? You're looking at it. How's Luke doing? 
Moss, I appreciate you stopping by. I'm good. Why don't you come by and check out the game later? Got a new 70 inch screen TV, it's gonna be great. And you know Irene cooks up a mean turkey. Yeah, maybe. Hard to believe. Five years ago already. Game starts at one. Come on by, man. Happy Thanksgiving, Kevin. Ricky? Sweetheart? Are you there? It's, it's just me again. I, I just really wish you'd pick up. I, well, anyway, the turkey's gonna be ready round four, and we'd really love to see you. I know a certain someone who is missing you a lot. We must see you. We can eat, we can eat. So please, just try to make it, okay? My first turkey. Not bad, Not huh? Bad, huh? Ricky? Honey? Okay. Bye bye. Ain't nothing in those cans. One man's trash is another man's treasure. I'm good. Well, I have to leave, so can you move? Important places to go, I bet. What? Well, I used to be in a hurry all the time, always on the go, never stopping to enjoy everything the good Lord laid right under our noses. How's that working out for you? Family plans? I really can't do this. Not today. It's Thanksgiving Day. Young man like you ought to be with family. Looks like you've got a lot to be thankful for. Looks like you got a lot to be thankful for. It's a beautiful day. I'm alive, and God is good. Is he? Sure. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Well, you're right. You're right. I, I wasted a lot of the years God gave me. But you, you've got your whole life in front of you. Enough of the words of wisdom. Here, go grab a bite or a new jacket. I've got everything I need right inside here. Suit yourself. 
Happy Thanksgiving, friend. Same to you. No, God never lets us down, ever. And never gives us more than we can handle, right? That's right. What happens if it is more than we can handle? Then what? Just a mess. It's Thanksgiving. I don't have a cell phone. I could use a little help. Please. Sorry, lady. You picked the wrong guy on the wrong day. That can't be true. Nothing happens on accident. Everything happens for a reason. Would you just spit it out? Tell me what you want. Oh, right. Phone. Sorry. I don't have a cell phone. Really? Who doesn't have a cell phone these days? Apparently neither of us. Right. Ugh. Even if you had a cell phone, you're not gonna get a cab to come out of here in the middle of nowhere and pick you up on Thanksgiving. So there's no chance you're gonna be driving into town anytime soon. I'm sure if you just walk back out to the highway, 
someone will come along and pick you up, take you to town. I guess that's a no, isn't it? <sighs> okay. I'm so sorry for disturbing you. You have a nice Thanksgiving. And God bless. <sighs> I guess it's your lucky day. Really? Better hurry up before I change my mind. Thank you. Thank you so much. Here, I'll help you with this. It's okay, thank you. Thank you. You can sit in the... Okay. Please. I'm going to be with my family today. And home is? <laughs> Silly me. Like, you know where I live, right? <laughs> you know, the Lord is going to... Here it is. To serve and protect. Wow. God knew what he was doing and he sent you my way. What you? Thanks. So you're a cop? Was. You know, I never got your name. Rick. Nice to meet you, Rick. I'm Graciela. You're. You're what? I'm Grace. What was that? The man. So, does it say? I know, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm trying to go all the way on foot. Uh, I would have never made it. You're, you're a lifesaver. It's, it's funny how different things Almost smell all the turkeys in the oven. So rude of me. What's that? <sighs> Falling asleep like that? I've just been so worn down lately. No worries. Oh, I can't wait to be with my family. I'm sure you're gonna be with your family too. But I'm really thankful and grateful that I'm riding in this car with you. And that I'm not dragging that old suitcase around. I would have never made it. Are you a man of faith? What's that, ma'am? You know, faith, God. I don't really think about it much, ma'am. Oh, that's too bad. I don't know how anyone can get through it all without a little faith. I have this feeling like you have to hang on to that hope. That there's 
something bigger than we are. That there's a purpose to it all. We're gonna have to work on that, mister. Sorry, ma'am. Your faith? Or lack of faith, I suppose. And, and please call me Grace. Whatever you say, Grace. Is there a turkey waiting for you at home? Finding it hard to focus on the road, Grace, with all the questions. Right, I'm so sorry. You wouldn't believe this, but I'm like the last person you would ever accuse of being a motor moth, let alone being nosy. Just for some reason, I just can't shut up. <laughs> sorry. Let's just get you home. Actually, if you make a right up here. Right here? Hey, stop, 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 stop. Stop. Grace? Where's she going? Hey. Grace? What the? Grace! Grace! Hey! Wait up, will you? Grace! What are you? Grace! Hey, don't go, don't go in. Like until high school before? No, I was too busy sneaking out of school. Oh. I have so many memories. We used to lay up there in those bleachers, sun shining, radio blasting. You went to school here? Yeah. Regional. We used to stomp you guys in football. Oh, yeah? We used to stomp you right back in this pool. Yeah, it's not really the same thing. Oh, really? No. Oh. You want to ready back that up? No, I'm not a big fan of the pool. Oh, someone's being a chicken. <laughs> no, someone wants to get out of here before we get caught. I remember the final meet like it was yesterday. Senior year, this place was packed. <laughs> We'd won most of our races. Well, my team had, I wasn't really that good. But I didn't care. I was happy to cheer my team on. Grace. But for some reason, I don't know why, I looked up and there he was. He was sitting right here next to my mom. My dad had actually made it to a meet. <laughs> you don't understand. In four years, my dad had never made it to a meet. He was always traveling, always too busy. And he was there, clapping and cheering me on, like it was the Olympics or something. At first, I didn't know what to do. I was a little embarrassed. I mean, sitting in the bench, passing out towels, and he didn't care. He was so proud of me. You wouldn't believe what happened next. What? The whole team's calling my name, Grace, Grace, Grace. And I'm like, staring at my dad, oblivious. So finally, one of the girls grabs me. And she pulls me and she points at the coach and the coach is frantic calling me over. And I'm like, what did I do wrong now? It was the final relay of the day. One of the girls got hurt or something. And for some reason, the coach was calling my name. What'd you do? <laughs> I swam. I swam like I've never swum before. And we won, we actually won. It was awesome. Uh, and that race qualified us to regionals and the rest, like they say, is history. Well, at least around these parts, it's, it's a big deal. Yeah. 
There was my daddy, just cheering me on. What I didn't know was that he had already packed all his things in his car. That was the last day I saw him. That's rough. You just don't know how much you need your father until he's gone. I'm sorry. I don't even know why I'm sharing this with you. Come on. Let's get you home. Thank you. <laughs> oh, here, let me. I got it. I'll get that. No, no, it's okay. No, I got it. No, it's fine. I just I promise um... it's in good hands. Well, it's. Okay. All right. <laughs> this is heavy. What do you have in here? A toaster? <laughs> no, no, no! Maybe I should go. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to do that. Look, I didn't mean to upset you. No, it's just this. I just have some personal things in here, that's all. L let me, let me just take you home. Here. Will you keep that safe for me? Sure. Ahead. You never know. Let's skip the breaking and entering next time, okay? What breaking? I just jiggled the door and it opened. <laughs> hi, hi, officer. <gasps> so you can smile. I knew it. I smile. <laughs> <laughs> that was two in a row. I mean, you should smile more often. Looks good on you. You know, people would barely notice how bad you dress if you smile a little more. Hey. <laughs> you know what they say about a smile, right? What's that? A smile is like tight underwear. It makes your cheeks go up. <laughs> that was really bad. <laughs> that was so bad. Okay, bud? Are you okay? I got a band of angels watching over me. I'm all good. What are you doing in the middle of the road? I mean, I could have, two seconds later. We're all where we're supposed to be at any given time. I can't say the same for your card. <laughs> Don't that feel good? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> When's the last time you had a good laugh like that, Rick? I couldn't even tell you. How'd you know my name? Oh, I know who you are. Your wife, Jenna, 
was a shining light to all of us at the shelter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she used to love working down there. We all miss her. Yeah. I'm Jeremiah. Pleasure. Rick. Of course you knew that. Everyone okay? And who is the pretty lady? Hi. I'm Grace. Grace? A perfect name. <laughs> Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Lifted up by God. That's right. Smart lady. <laughs> you know, I think the Lord knew just what he was doing when he put this cart in your path. I have something for you. I was going to give it to you this morning, but you were in such a hurry that I didn't. And then I, well, this belongs to your son, Luke. Where'd you get this? Jenna used to bring Luke by the shelter from time to time. And I would play catch with him out back. Well, one day he left it there, and when we didn't hear, anyway, I thought I would keep it secure. Thank you. Well, now you can give it to him yourself. Although I suppose you bought him a new one a long time ago. You okay? I never liked to working down at that shelter. All the riffraff. Maybe I was wrong. She always saw the good in people. I just saw the bad. What happened to her? There I go being nosy again. I was a cop. Protect and serve. It's my job to protect. Rick, pull over. We've been working this big case for a long time. We finally busted the guy. A real stand-up citizen. Rotary club. Philanthropist. Kids in Ivy League schools, works. Turns out he was also responsible for half the drug trafficking in the state. I got a promotion. And he got 14 years. But instead of rotting in a cell somewhere, he got cancer. Got it real bad, too. So they moved him to a hospital. I knew it wasn't going to take him long to find a way out of there. Turns out I was the first person he couldn't wait to see. I had scrimped and saved everything to hide it from Jenna. So while I'm sitting at a travel agency booking the Paris trip she always dreamed of, that dirt bag is coming for me. Babe? I got you a little surprise. I think you're gonna like it. I saw Luke uh, playing ball down the street, so I know that we are all alone right now. Just the two of us, baby. Ooh. Smells fantastic. Who well, isn't that sweet? Go ahead and pull it. <coughs> Baby, go out back right now. <coughs> Honey, you just stay right there. Sit down. She got nothing to do with this, Jenkins. She's got everything to do with us. My wife. My kids, my life, you took them all from me! 
What do you want? What do I want? How about a cure for cancer? <laughs> I'm dying, detective. I'm gonna die cold and alone, and I want you to know what that feels like. What are you, a ninja? Keep moving towards me, detective. I'm begging you. Turn around right now and leave. No harm, no foul. Oh, really? No harm, no foul. <laughs> How about this for harmony? <laughs> Three shots right now. One went through my knee. Another one finished them off. I fell to the ground and then I saw my wife laying there on the ground. She was coughing. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I can't breathe. It's okay, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Okay, just take it easy. Take it easy. Honestly. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Make sure Luke knows how much you want him. I promise you. <laughs> Come on. Hey, stay with me, okay? Baby. 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 I failed. As a cop. As a husband. As a father. That was five years ago today. So sorry. I've lived that day over and over and over. It's never too late to keep your promise. Let's get you home. Time's a ticking. Do you think it's true that God has chosen that one special person for each of us? That one person that's meant to be with us for the rest of our lives? Here we go again with the God stuff. Can we just... Grace? What are you doing, Grace? What? Not... Come on, Rick. I can see a glimmer of hope in you. You don't have to be the tough one all the time. Grace? She did it again. Do you believe in love at first sight? I used to work at this little coffee shop not too far from here. And this tall, handsome Marine walks in. He sits at the counter. I'm so nervous I could barely pour his coffee. What are we doing here, Grace? 
It was love at first sight for him. He proposed on our first date. I mean, he didn't have a ring or anything, but he knew I was the one. And I knew he was the one, too. And then you came here and learned to dance and wowed everyone at your wedding, right? Oh, that was so mean. Do you really have to say that? You think you're the only one with special moments, Grace? My wife and I came to the same studio. This is where she taught me how to dance. And yes, we wowed everybody at our wedding. And we vowed that we would never stop dancing. And then your God, in his infinite wisdom, took her from me. And we're never gonna dance together again. How's that for a happy ending? I'm so sorry. Sorry for what? You don't have to be sorry. You get to go have Thanksgiving with your family and I can't. Can we just go to the car, please? Was it love at first sight for you too? Does it matter? Maybe, was it? Rick, was it? Yes! My heart was beating out of my chest the first moment I saw her. Then maybe it is true that God has that one special person for us. And it doesn't matter how long we spend with them. What matters is how we spend the time we had with them. Maybe that's why God put us together today. To teach us how to appreciate every single moment we have. No, I, I'm not much of a dancer anymore. I got that, that bum leg, remember? Come on, no one's watching. Dance with me, officer. Not now, not now. I gotta review this case for the morning. It's a, it's a. Case will still be there this moment. It's a big case. You doing? What you doing? I gotta work. I gotta work. Dance right now.
not making this any easier on us. It's dead. This old piece of junk is dead. You can always go walking. Walking? Mm -hmm. No, you know what? I'm just gonna go ask No, let's go walking. It'll be fun. It's a great day. I'm gonna grab my stuff. You wanna walk? Yeah! I mean... Thank you. Okay, let's walk. Okay, so I think if we, if we take a left here and we go around the bend, we'll get straight through to your house. Isn't there another way we can go? Well, this will be the quickest way. I think mean, it's a dead end anyway, so we can just go somewhere else. <laughs> Grace, what's up? My in-laws live up there. Oh, maybe they can help us out with my car. No, they moved a long time ago. Can we just take another street? Please. I understand, you know. I mean, so you have some problems with your in-laws. Join the club. I didn't say that. They were wonderful. Don't go too far. He's fine. Tommy was everything to them. He was their one connection to their son while he was serving in Afghanistan. So your husband served overseas? We would Skype with him whenever we could. Tommy was so proud of his daddy. And daddy loved him to pieces. Here I come. So how was your trip? We still wanted to go. Oh, it was wonderful. You two have got to join us next time. I know. I can't find Tommy. What? Tommy? Well, he can't have gone far. Tommy? Tommy? Tommy! I couldn't breathe. Tommy! I couldn't move. You're not the only one that thinks they failed to take care of the ones they loved. I've struggled with that for so many years, blaming myself every day. Grace, that wasn't your fault. Faith is believing the things we can't see. I'm just trusting it's all part of a better plan and that there's a deeper meaning. I gave up trying to figure that out a long time ago. You can't give up. Rick, you can't. You have to trust that God knows better than we do. I've been dead inside for years, Grace. There's no hope for me. I was in that same exact dark hole that you're in. 
there is hope. Believe me. Come on. We should get going. It's gonna get cold out soon. Yeah. Thank you, Rick. For what? For driving me, for walking with me, listening. It's Thanksgiving, right? That's right. You're hungry. Been smelling turkey all day, Grandma. I'm starving. Oh, good, because we got some eating to do. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Aren't you forgetting something, young man? Dear Lord, we thank you for this special day and for all of our blessings. And Lord, we just ask you to watch over those who can't be here with us today to share in them. In your name, amen. Luke. Amen. So, have you heard from your father today? I left a message for him on his machine. Yeah, Grandma. You should be here any sec. Well, you never know. It could happen. Grandma, every holiday you set an extra seat, and every year it stays that way. Well, I, I guess I just can't give up on him. Can we please just eat and not talk about it? Of course. <laughs> Grandma, do you mind if I eat in my room? You know, it's just taken him time, Luke. And it's taken more time than we would like. But he'll come around. You'll see. Does it even matter anymore? Really? Baby, of course it matters. Your father loves you. Yeah. Well, he's got a funny way of showing it. Can I? Okay. You, you have enough there? Yeah. Thanks, Grandma. Okay. All right, well, be sure to save room for that cherry pie I made you. I will. I made whipped cream. Mmm, <sighs> I think I just got a whiff of turkey coming out of the oven. <laughs> Do you like turkey? Yeah. I guess so. I mean, I, I actually, I haven't sat down for a turkey dinner in a long time. <laughs> Come to think of it, I can't remember the last time I had turkey either. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure your family will have a nice turkey dinner waiting for you. <laughs> Ooh, just give me a... You okay? Yeah, I'm good. You? Yeah. Sorry I ruined your day with this crazy little journey of mine. Trust me. I had nothing better to do. You know what? Why don't we go warm up inside there for a minute? Mm. Cute little church, isn't it? Yeah, if you say so. What are you doing? I'm just gonna see if it's open. It's Thanksgiving. It's gonna be closed. I'm gonna jiggle it and see. It's been working for you. <laughs>
Not really much warmer than outside, is it? Oh, I'm fine. I just haven't sat in one of these pews in a while. I miss it. You? I see, I would, I would take you for regular for, uh, for this kind of thing. I am in my heart. I just haven't been able to come to service in a long time. The whole no car thing? <laughs> That's <was> silly. <laughs> but you're right, a car would have been very helpful today. <laughs> so, um, did your wife go to church? I'm sorry, you don't have to talk about it. No, no, it's fine. Yes. Yep. She always came to church. And I would come with her, you know, because she wanted me to. And my son seemed to like it, so, you know, that made her happy. You're a kind man, Rick. Any other guy would just sit in the couch and watch a game or whatever they do. No, it made her happy. That's the only reason. I haven't stepped foot inside a church in, in five years. I understand. Sometimes it's hard trusting that his ways are higher than ours. You know, we should, we should probably get a move on only because it's only going to get colder as the night goes on. Do you mind if I pray before we go? Sure. You can join me if you'd like. No, no, I'm, uh, I'm good. Right here. Lord, I was in a dark place this morning. Forgive me for not trusting you. He sent me to the middle of nowhere and I met this kind man, Rick. And you made us meet at that very moment for a reason. And I pray that you soften his heart. He's had a rough go of it. And I pray that you give him understanding and peace so we can continue our time together today. Person side. I'll get it for you. You're up there. Please help me. Okay. 
Hey, where are we going? Shortcut. Shortcut? <laughs> are you sure? I mean, I don't think I have a choice. Grace. Grace, where are we going now? Just trying to save some time, get you home to your son. I was thinking about that. You know, Grace, my son is, it's just not the best. I'm listening. I know you're, you say you're listening, but you're not, you're not really listening, you're just walking. You just keep walking. Grace, hey. Sorry. Grace, can you slow down a tad, please? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what's gone into me. I think it's still open space. <laughs> hey, that's, that's my old ball field. I played Little League there. It was? Yes. Wow, it's changed a lot, but, oh man, back in the day we had dugouts on either side of the backstop and the bleachers were over in the corner. My mom and pop, they never missed a game. Really? It's been a long time since I've seen it. I would bring my son here. Before he was even old enough to play. Man, he couldn't wait. I'm sure you were in those bleachers watching every minute of your boy playing ball, weren't you? No, I wasn't, Grace. I was always too busy. Oh, I'm sorry. He would always beg me to play ball with him. He would wear that that little glove and you'd say, Daddy, you play catch with me? Not today, buddy. Daddy's gotta go catch some bad guys. At least he still got you around. When his mother run. When Jenna was killed, it was just it was just a bad time. I, I was uh He's been with my mom ever since. But it's been five years. You still see him, though. Of course I see him. I see him every day. He doesn't know I'm there. He doesn't know you're there? No, I drive by. I see him playing ball or hanging with his friends. Rick, you can't do that. A son needs his father. It's not fair for you to stay away. He's doing great. He's a good kid. He's better off without me. You don't believe that. I'm sure he misses you as much as you miss him. I wouldn't know what to say. Just tell him the truth. Tell him you love him. It's too late for that, Grace. Rick, if you're still breathing, it's never too late to tell your son that you love him. I can't do that anymore. You don't understand how much I long to hold my boy, to tell him that I love him, to tell him that I'm gonna be there for him. You still have time. Please. You're a special woman, Grace. You're a special man, right? And you're a father that needs a son. Now go out there and make it right. So, is Ricky short for something, like Richard, Ricky? Yeah, yeah, it's short for Ricky. My um, parents were born in Cuba. They loved watching um, I Love Lucy. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> Not really. Oh. <laughs> Gullible. No, it's, it's short for Richard in a long line of Richards. What about, uh, what about, what about you, huh? What's your name short for Gracie? Oh, now you're just making fun of me. I'm uh -huh. sorry. Sorry. <laughs> No, my, when my parents met, they, uh, they were missionaries. And they wanted to remind me every day how to live my life and never forgetting God's grace. That fits you. Thank you. I'm going to take that as a compliment. You should take it as a compliment. <laughs> so is that who we're going to go see? Who? Oh. Well, you know, today, this whole journey, I mean, we're going to go see your parents? Oh, no. My mom, she died a couple of years ago, and well, my dad, you know that story. 
sorry. I, I, I really don't know how you do it, Grace. What's that? Well, you just, you keep the faith. I mean, despite all these sad things that have happened to you. I mean, next thing, <laughs> you're gonna tell me you're dying of some rare tropical disease or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be something. What's the rush, Grace? How did we get here? Come on, we're almost there. No. No, I, I don't want to go this way, Grace. Grace! Grace? We're here. It's Thanksgiving, Rick. No better time than now. I don't think I can do it, Grace. Your son needs you, you need your son. Of course he can do it. What if he hates me? That's not possible. Ma? I knew it. I just knew it. Oh. Happy Thanksgiving. Yes, it is. Oh, my goodness. Where are my manners? I'm Anne. Grace. Well, that's a lovely name. Thank you. You should have told me you were bringing a guest. I'm a mess. <laughs> my goodness, you're cold as ice. Oh, go, come in. Come in. Are you all hungry? Oh, I've got so much food. Please, come Mom. on, I'll warm something up. Mom, what? is um, is Luke here? Well, he's next door, honey, playing with his friends. But, you know, he'll be back within the hour. So, please, come and eat. Oh, my goodness. So, tell me, how long have you two been seeing each other? <laughs> uh, what was it, um, was it like, like noon? <laughs> I think it was more like one. Was it one? It was closer <laughs> to one. Well, you're crazy. <laughs> Amazing. I, I don't even know if I can eat this, but... Well, do me a favor and try, okay? Yes. yes. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I had homemade pie. It's so good. Well, there is plenty more where that came from. <laughs> hey, son. What are you doing here? Wow, look at you, you're growing up fast. Yeah, you call five years fast. We got you a little something. I, I don't, I don't know if you remember this. That's supposed to make everything better? You think we can just hug it out and pretend you're my dad again? That would be nice. It's not happening! Thanks for dropping by, Dad. See you again in another five years. Luke, honey, why don't you just sit down and have some pie with us? Luke. Just leave. We're better off without you. He hates me. No, no, he just needs time, like you did. Just. Don't give up so easy. It's his turn now. I'm so proud of you.
Luke? Luke? Look, bud. I just wanted to tell you that I'm sorry. I know I messed up, I know. I know I wasn't a good father and I'm not gonna ask for your forgiveness. I know I don't deserve it, I just... I'm not gonna leave you again, Luke. Ever. I'm gonna be here for you, son. Okay? Maybe, maybe sometime whenever you're ready, we can, we can just sit and talk. I love you, son. We gotta get you home. Can I borrow the car, Mom? Well, of course. Let me just find the keys. Thank you. For what? You know, for. For just being you and, you know, just for everything. Of course. We are. <laughs> Thank you. Coach. Okay. All right. Well, Grace. I do not know where you came from, but do not be a stranger, because you are welcome here any time. Thank you. I'll be back soon, okay, Mom? All right. All right. Love you. Love you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Die safely now. Just take a left right up here. A left? What are we doing here? I thought you said that we were gonna go see your family today. We are. Come, I want you to meet my family. I, I don't know what to say, Grace. My husband never made it back from war. He was killed not long after Tommy drowned. I'm so sorry. 
I miss my babies. Happy Thanksgiving, Tom. This is Rick. If it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't be here today. Grace, the date that your husband died. That's the date. Yeah, five years ago today. That's a sign, isn't it? <laughs> Everything that happened today was supposed to happen. Right, Grace? Just like you said, nothing happens by accident. That's God, right? I told you you had to work on your lack of faith. You were right. You were right, Grace. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can feel your heart beating through your jacket. That's for you, Grace. Hey, babe. I miss you. I met someone. Her name is Grace. We're just taking it day by day, but I... I got a good feeling about it. I'm telling you this because... I can't help but think you were watching out for me this whole time. Maybe this was... This is all you're doing? Hey, Dad, come on! Anyway, I gotta go. I'm playing catch with our son. We'll talk again soon. I promise. I love you.